Two men journey to the bars and restaurants of Scandinavia to find amazing beers, always with the same question. Hey, what's on tap? It's time to find out. Okay, day Advent day three. And, Welcome back. Uh, so day one and two were, were adequate. Um, well, day one was really nice. Day one was really nice. Day two was like, eh, well, this is good, but it's not exciting. Nope. So let's let's dig into day three. Day three. All right. Uh, all right. Another what do we bottle. got here? Another bottle. Uh, another fun label. And this is... The coffee and smoke? It's a smoked coffee dark ale. Um, it's kind of... You kind of have to... To search for the the name because it's cafe or coffee, and then there's a ton of ampersands, and then at the very bottom it says smoked. So this is a dark, silky smooth tribute to a bygone era, a deep brown black ale brewed with coffee and smoked malts, and it is nine percent alcohol. So let's crack uh. it open. Got a nice little fist to it. How do you feel about smoked beers? I love smoked beers. Really? I do. I I am rather um, conservative. Uh, yeah, I find that smoked beers tend to get too bacony sometimes. Well, who uh, doesn't love bacon? I, I know, but I don't like bacon in my beers. I don't think. Uh, but uh, a little fun trivia: I am the very first person to have ever reviewed this beer on Untapped. Oh, lucky! I, I tried it originally back in September, uh, like the first of September, first or second of September, and I remember really, really liking this. So I'm very excited to to re try it again. Retry it. Uh, again, the black ale. They're not kidding. This is uh, well, actually, it's not as black as I thought it would be. I remember it being. It's kind of a very dark, dark amber color. It's uh, very red. It's very reddish, yeah. Hence amber. If you hold it up to the light. Yep, hold up to the light. It's it's kind of an ambery kind of color. It doesn't smell too smoked. It's lightly smoked. I get the smoke and I get the coffee. But I don't get that like sometimes you get the smoke porters and it just smells like Forest like, Fire? Yeah, like forest fire or, or smoked uh pork byproducts. Yeah. This does not, not have that at all. I like the head, like looking at the head, it's very velvety on top. Uh, that gives me a lot of hope. All right, let's try it. Mm. You definitely get the smoke. Smoke kind of overshadows the coffee a bit. Yeah. You definitely do not get the 9%. No, it is really drinkable that's dangerously drinkable yeah very smooth you do get that like tiny bacon hint yeah see what i'm talking about like, like yeah, a little yeah. bit of a, a slight bacony flavor you see i kind of I, I i kind of enjoy that though i don't mind it but it's sometimes it just is so overwhelming that that's all i get but this is this is almost like apple wood smoked bacon too yeah yeah and it, like the coffee is there but it, it's much more of a it doesn't come out in the initial taste. It comes out in the aftertaste on the tongue. It's kind of a coffee-ish like flavor to it. It's sweet, which I didn't expect. I'm still looking for the coffee in it. No, yeah, you don't see it? You don't find it? I, I find the coffee. I haven't really found the coffee yet. I definitely get coffee on that. But it's much sweeter than I expected for... I remember it being for coffee and uh, smoked. So yeah. how did you how did you perceive it when you had it the first time? Um, I mean, that was so many so many beers ago. Um, <laughs> it was lightly smoked. I think it. I think the coffee was more defined in it originally, because uh, I remember it being a much more coffee forward beer. Um, but still, just kind of kind of like the for coffee, where it had that that bit of sweetness to it. Um, a little bitter, uh, a little smoked, uh, overall, I, I still think, uh, I wish the coffee was still a little heavier. Yeah, me too. Um, the one, the one I'm tasting now. So I think if the coffee was a bit heavier, it would have balanced out the smoked malts a little bit more. Yeah, I completely agree. But I think this is, this is really nice. I mean, for 9%, you really cannot tell 9%. No, I, I, I think this... Is much drinkable, more drinkable than the seven percent that we had on day two. Oh yeah, for sure. 
Um, and it, I think it had more of an alcohol, uh, a little bit more of an alcohol tinge to it. But yeah, this is this is hiding the alcohol extremely well. Yeah, and there's no alcohol at all in this. Yeah, it's just scary. <laughs> well, there is alcohol. In it. I mean, well, there is. Yeah, Ninety-nine percent is not. A, it's no joke. No. Um, but it is. Doesn't not... fuck around. But um, I mean, if you compare it to the, you know, the German Rausch beers, mm -hmm. the Schlenkala, the very popular, well, German smoked lagers and bucks, mm -hmm. uh, that kind of, well, smells and tastes like a uh, the beer sausages. Yeah. It's like a beer sausage in liquid form, which I really enjoy about those ones, but you definitely don't get that heavy of a smoked uh, character from this. No, not at all. This is uh, very much more. Yeah, I would say this is a, a great, this would be a great gateway into a smoked beer if yeah, if uh, you've never tried one before or you're curious about smoked beers, this is definitely a great way to go. Or if you had a really smoked beer before. Yeah, yeah you really hated it before. You're like, well, maybe I need to give this another try. This is a great one to go with. Yes, for um, sure. Yeah, and it's a black ale, so it's not um, it's not going for anything extra, so you're not gonna get like... It's not overly hopped or yeah, anything like that. It's, no. It really just lets the, uh, the smoke and, well, I mean, as we said, the coffee could be a little bit more prominent, but it does what it says on a tin. Yeah. Kind of. Maybe not that much coffee, but smoke definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I, like, I wish, uh, I remember it being more coffee-ish before, and I wish it had more of a coffee. Um, so what did you rate it the last time you had it? Or when you were the first I, one I to don't, check it in? I don't remember, but it was, I loved it the first time. And so when I saw this was was this one, I, I was really excited uh, to try it again. So I, I must have given it like a, a three seven five or a four because I really uh, I really still still like it, but I just remember it being more coffee and less smoke. Whereas yeah. now it's a little more smoke and and less coffee. Yeah. So I don't see me rating it as high this time, but still really uh, really enjoying this. Uh, so it's far, a great yeah. beer. Mm. But yeah, just a, a bit more coffee character would have helped it quite a lot. And I think coffee is one of those things that it's hard to it's hard to maintain that flavor over time. Yeah, um, because it just isn't a, a flavor that that lasts over a long period of time. And this again, this came out, I guess, in September since I was the first person to to rate it, and it's now December, so it hasn't been out that long. But the coffee has really diminished. Um, and not saying that this is the first brew that that. It could be a batch. new batch. Yeah, it could be a new batch, and it just isn't. They as... might have tweaked the coffee in it as well from then. It could yeah. also be the same batch, and that's why the coffee is dissipated a little bit. That's also possible, yeah. We we just don't know. But, yeah, I, I think this is this is really good. I uh, It's would, a gateway smoked beer. A gateway smoked beer. And yeah. I, I would completely get this again and, 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 and give it to other people to get them to try and try to get them into smoked beers. Yes. Uh, so while I'm not going to give it a four this time, I will give it a, a three, seven, five. Yeah. Um, I'm going to just I'm a gonna, step down. I'm going to head for a, uh, 3.5. 3.5. Yeah. I, I think, uh, right on the money. Um, I said, there's a really pleasant sweetness to it, I think as well. Um, which kind of reminds me of the, the, the coffee that we made. Yeah. Uh, just more of a smoked version of that than the, yeah. Than the, um, I mean, we could we could flow. we could try putting a little bit of smoked malt into it next time we make it. Yeah, it's it's very possible. I don't know See if we how should. That plays out. Yeah, uh, but yeah, this is really really good. I I, I think uh, day three step up from from yesterday. Definitely a step up from yesterday. Still not quite there. All right, but um, we're we're getting there. Yeah, it's uh, so far. It's the first three days have been a decent box. So hopefully, it's been the, a lot of fun. The trend continues. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Let's All right. go for day four.